Why are narcissists hot and cold? A common trait of narcissists is that they are hot and cold. They change frequently. One minute they're loyal to you, then they're not. One minute they're warm and affectionate, then they're cold and unemotional. They go back and forth. They say they're going to do something, but then they don't. Because they're driven by their emotions rather than logic or reasoning. It all depends on how they feel in the moment. Which is why if someone else comes along and makes them feel good about themselves, they can quickly forget about you no matter how long you were together. Even if the relationship was going well. And it will leave you very confused. You may even question if there was something you did wrong. But it's just that someone or something has made them feel a certain way. Which has taken their focus away from you. They're very easily distracted. So it doesn't matter what you've done for them. It can all disappear very quickly. The narcissist might say that they love you. And in that moment they might actually mean it. But their feelings can change from one moment to the next. They are driven by their emotions, which is why they are hot and cold. This is just how narcissists are. And if you are with a narcissist, it's something you have to accept because it's never going to change. But acceptance will help you to prepare for what could happen. Because you can never trust a narcissist's word. But this is a red flag that you may notice from the very beginning. When you plan a date with them and it seems like they're more excited than you are, they can't wait to meet you. And you think you finally met a good person. But when the day finally comes, they don't turn up. Or they say that they can't make it. And then maybe you assume that they got it that you got it wrong. Maybe you assume that they're not interested in you. And you stop talking to them. But then a few days later they're texting you or calling you.
Now they're liking your posts on social media. And you're just scratching your head, wondering what is going on. They're hot and cold because their emotions change from moment to moment. In one moment, they may have been excited to see you. They may have enjoyed texting you or talking to you on the phone. But then in the next moment, they just don't feel like meeting you or talking to you anymore. There's no excuse for their behavior, but this is just the way they are. They're not reliable. They're not the kind of people you can trust or depend on. They're not good for anything serious or long term. When the narcissist goes cold, it doesn't mean that they've met someone else. It doesn't mean that they're busy. It's just that their emotions change very quickly and they can't control it. So you will never know where you stand with them. because it can change from one moment to the next. You can never trust anything they say to you. They may say that they love you. They may say that they care about you. And maybe they do in that moment But that can change very quickly. Never trust what they say. Because what they say is very different from what they do. So judge them by their actions rather than their words. Narcissists live in the moment. They're very emotional. But this has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you because they're not responding to anything that you've said or done. They're reacting to their emotions, which is why you end up feeling so confused because you know that you haven't done anything to cause their change of behavior. Trust your intuition, because most of the time it's right. You haven't done anything to cause it. Their emotions change from one moment to the next. They could love you today and then have no interest in you tomorrow. So never trust what they say. Only trust their actions. Because at any moment, they could change their minds. And you're going to be stuck holding on to something they've said. Expecting them to fulfill some commitment while they're just not there anymore. So when the narcissist goes cold, the first step is to be aware of it and then focus on other things.
You don't have to do what they do. You don't have to be cold. It's not healthy. But just genuinely focus on other things in your life. Do things that you enjoy. Focus on bettering yourself. And soon enough the narcissist's feelings will return. But by that time, you may have moved on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcosurvivor the code UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.